Sophie and Richard. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Season five of Outlander. People have been waiting. They really want the goods. They do. You're going to have to tell me what's happening this time. What's happening this season? I saw a wedding. There is a wedding. Someone gets married. I saw a war. There is a war. There's a war. What there's else? There's fighting. Can you tell? There's weddings. There's love. There's cake. There's babies. Children. Ooh. Lots of children and yeah. lots of animals. Lots of family. Lots of animals, yeah. Yeah. Mm. But there is. There's a huge war brewing. Um, and. Potentially some mini battles beforehand. So yeah, there's a lot more action this season. Um, a lot more couples and relationships this season. Roger and Brianna are a lot more settled in their relationship. Yeah. So that's always nice to see because, as you know, they argue a lot. Um, they have had their ups and downs. Yes. Shall we say. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, but we mostly... apologise. It's been a long droughtlander. Yeah. But it's here. <laughs> As it's been ages, so it doesn't feel like that long for us. No. Because we just finished filming, so <laughs> now here we are in the press for the premiere, which is weird because everyone's been waiting, well, how long? When was season four out? A year. A year? Wow. Doesn't feel like that for us. Yeah, they're going to be waiting a year and a month. A year and a month. Yeah. Well, hopefully it was worth the wait. I think it will be. Yeah. yeah. Your relationship in season five, will it be more up or will there still be some... You know, roller coaster waves. I think it's Roger and Brianna. There's always going to be a little bit of, a little bit of roller coaster, but it, it starts up, so that's nice. Starts um, up, and they are a lot stronger. They communicate better this season. I think they're less hot-headed with each other. They do manage to actually breathe and talk things out. Um, and I think their relationship is just a lot more solidified. You know, with the reunion at the end of season four, mm -hmm. we we do know now that they are going to, um, hopefully, stay together. And it just seems that any any sort of external circumstances that come at them, they will battle it together now as opposed to battling each other, I think. Yeah, they're a team. I like that. They're in support of each other. Um, I think we just see a different side of the relationship that we didn't really see last season. Mm -hmm. So it's good we get to explore. But what we do is we get to explore that relationship, I think, a lot uh, more this season and we get to see, you know, why they love each other so much and why they mm -hmm. are sort of determined to be together not only destined to be together but they seem to be determined to be together because they go through quite a lot for each other and have done yeah. um, and uh, I think it's a very different look at Roger and Bree this season that I think the fans will really enjoy and their parents now too so they have a new priority so they yeah. kind of have to be slightly less self-centred each of them and just uh, they have to get along is that what you're out. saying is that they have to get along yeah. by necessity <laughs> Jimmy is holding them together uh, that's probably true also. <laughs> Your on-screen parents on the show, mm. Sam in particular, stated that they were the sexiest couple on the show. He's been saying this all morning. He, has, he, he does go on about that. Yeah. <laughs> what is yeah. it? What? what is apparently feel... some reporter said that Roger and Brianna were the hot new couple and apparently Sam's been crying Sam's about really it since he said it. So I don't yeah. Know. He's, um, yeah. But He's... no, those two will always always be the hot couple we are the young sleep deprived parents now so <laughs> yeah that ship has sailed <laughs> um there are a lot of love scenes in the show mm -hmm. um but how does it evolve from the beginning till now in season five in the sense of you know maybe at the beginning you're using breath mints maybe you brush your teeth richard maybe do you even know what a breath mint is <laughs> Do you know what often no, I come, like often I come on set? No, but we, listen, you, no, no, no. Flatten, I, uh, listen, but, right. listen. Anytime we have a kissing scene, he seeks out tuna or lobster, <clears throat> and I'm not joking, but it's just. Often you do I forget. It on I forget. No, I forget. You don't forget. Sometimes, if there's a kissing scene, and uh, sometimes if there's a sex scene, you know, I, I, often it, 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 it kind of skips my mind, and I go outside, I'll have a coffee. And maybe eat things that or aren't a cigarette. Or a cigarette, some occasional. Like, honestly, so if set, there is a mint company go, or a chewing gum company say, who like oh, the show, Sophie, please. I'm so sorry. Please send us. I'm so sorry. I forgot that we were having that kiss and I just had a coffee. That's or not I how that conversation had, goes at or all. I, it is. Or I just had half a pound of smoked salmon. You know that arguing we're onions. talking about? <laughs> well, and then yeah, I'll stuff so. my face full of mints. And just hope just to wing it at that point. You know what? Yeah. Jemmy has better breath than you. Wow. <laughs> You're putting that out to all of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> was this the standard from the beginning? Or is this just your now? Oh, you're yeah, no, there was never any politeness at all. <laughs> wow. 
really wasn't. That's not true. That's absolutely true. Oh, you're going back to the lobster roll. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I have the utmost consideration and respect for my... To be fair, though, talking about lobster. bad food, there is a really nice scene at a certain event in the first episode where food is quite inelegantly shoved in Each one's other's face. face. It's actually really quite funny. Mm. So you can look forward to that. She likes to Richard doesn't me. hold back. She likes to feed me on and off camera. I don't know where it is. <laughs> that was such a weird comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. You're welcome. For this interview, I apologise in advance. <laughs> I love it. I'm highly entertained. Good. I'm glad. Um, fans are so passionate about this show. Uh, why do you think they keep coming back every single season? to tune in for this it's always something new it always evolves it always develops there's always new relationships we're in new places often Mm -hmm. I mean we've been around the world now with with Outlander it always finds a fresh setting with those characters that you love and thrown into the mix actual historical events Mm. you know we've got the American Revolution we are the American Revolution is brewing so there's always there's always something new there's always something kind of uh, to keep it ticking over that I think everyone can get behind and so much variety in it, I think. I yeah. think especially this season, I was I keep saying every episode almost seems like a different movie. There's just so much happening and it moves so quickly that every episode has such sort of meat to it. Yeah. Um and I think with Outlander it's like when people say, What is it about? Well, it's sci fi, it's also a love story. There's a lot of action, there's drama. It's just it's, there's a bit of everything in there. And again, yeah, true historical events. So I just think there's something in it for everyone and yeah, each season's so fresh that I think it just keeps going. Yeah. Um, if you had to time travel into the past, of course, and take one thing from now in 2020 with you, what would it be and why? What would I take to the past? Where are we travelling to? This 18th... It's up to you. But it has to be a while ago. Um, right. I was going to say an electric toothbrush, but then that seems like a pointed comment, and that's not what I meant. Oh, so so I'm going to change my it? answer, and I'm going to say, I don't know, I feel like I'd need to take Spotify. I don't think I could live without, like, what would you play so much music at your fingertips. What would you play it on? The, my How would you stream it? Fine, Spotify is in an inbuilt speaker. I would take with me... Um, some antibiotics. <laughs> that was a boring answer. <laughs> some penicillin goes a long way. Just, you could just make your own penicillin. That's true. Not penicillin. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> I wanted to say like. I wanted to say like. Uh, uh, we'll end on that anticlimax. Yeah. Or, <laughs> you want to say what? Like an Uzi or a fifty caliber rifle, but I don't think that's going to. Yeah, do it probably either. wouldn't have gone down very well. Let's, Might seem yeah. like a very pro gun. End on penicillin. Yeah. <laughs> You're taking Spotify back. You can't even play it. Can't even. Yeah, you that, can't. Yeah, that might be. Maybe I'd figure I, out a way. An iPod. iPod would be a better. But then you choice. just sound really materialistic. You wouldn't charge it. You can't charge the iPod. I, she's Brianna, she's an engineer, I'll create electricity. Something. She's Brianna, but she's also like Edison.